Okay, D volt, 56 volt, or 54 volt. Scalsa. Which one is she? The DCS 577. Ooh. Oops, sounds alright now. Sounds right there. Yeah. Is it a bearing or a gear? Because she's only making that sound sometimes and not all the time, I'm going to say it's probably a bearing. So this is the one you want it to be. Because it's quick and easy to get to. More than likely, it'll be in the motor. No, that one's okay. Cover for that we hold for that bottom gear bearing. Right. Can't turn that by hand because it's a brushless motor. I have to get under. There. to keep all the screws on the holes they come out of. So he's trying to match them up better. And there's our problem. One bad bearing. Totally gone. That bearing's okay. That can be a tricky one to change because of this wee magnetic pickup. If you're too rough at all, you'll bust that pickup, which is a bad thing. So we're just going to change this one. This bottom bearing's absolutely fine. We'll not change that at all. Now don't get me wrong, this saw is a decent saw, this 54 volt. Powerful saw. They are popular. Batteries let it down a wide lot because the batteries are troublesome. Especially these ones with a yellow body on them. They can fail very easily. 
but this is a big problem for them. Them bearings are not separate. Nor is the rotor. So if this part fails on you, if you bust this wee tackle down here, or this bearing fails, you have to buy the service kit, or what Dewalt call the service kit. The service kit is this rotor, and the controller, and the switch on this particular model saw, which is a joke. That's the price of the machine, basically, to replace them. A service kit, like they're taking a they're taking a hand there. That bearing's easily changed, but if this bearing fails, getting it off without damaging that tackle can be risky. Can be done, but you need to be careful. Don't ever touch or press on the outside race. That wee brown bit. That is very, very brittle. It'll just break off. Brass inserts, only thing you want to be touching if you have to change this back one. But that's a problem. They don't supply these bearings separately. They don't expect you to change them bearings. Fair enough, they don't fail very often. This isn't a new saw. This is what? Probably more 2019, 2018 maybe. So it's done a fair bit of work. But still, that's a big letdown from Dewalt. Having it like that there. Making it look more like a Milwaukee to be quite honest. That's the bearing. Sadly, the seal has been rubbing off the fan. So we can I see what size that bearing is. Now here in the workshop, it's not a problem. I can just take it over the boxes. Boxes of boxes of bearings there, so I can just match up like for like. But if you don't know that bearing, you're in trouble. If the old don't tell you what bearing it is, if you can't buy the bearing separately, they can't tell you what it is. Luckily this side looks to be still intact. Yep. So it's a 6002 bearing. It's one of those high quality China bearings. Lovely. We'll stick on an NSK bearing. That'll hopefully see it see it to its end then. Also, when you're changing these, if they fail like that one did, make sure you wash all this out. We're gonna be left with little nuggets like that there. That's the cage that the bearings were kept in. So there's debris all inside this grease. You need to get it washed out. Just be careful with this here stator as well. This is all magnets inside. Four big neodymiums. Everything metal is going to stick to it. So make sure there's no wee bits of swarf or nothing. Stuck onto it.
Now that's grease, that's a Bosch grease, this is a 001 Bosch grease. But any good heavy gear grease would do for this application. Bit tricky getting it set up to begin with. She should just drop on when you have her right. That's it. There's just a wee bump stop. Stops the guard going up too far. That on first so it doesn't come apart again as you're putting in the spring clip. It's just held on by the ring spring, which is just a coiled piece of metal. That's the clip on around. And I'll tuck in. And she's quite wide. So it's quite tricky to get the whole thing in without bending or damaging it. Just take your time and prise it on piece by piece. That's it. It should be us. Sounds better already. Listen to that. Look at that, Dewalt. We didn't even have to replace the whole motor for it. One little bearing, which is up and running again. Like the content lads, hit that like and follow. Cheers.